This screencast is going to be a review of pH. pH is the relative concentration of hydrogen ions in water. We're going to look at the relationship between the amount of hydrogen and hydroxide or hydroxyl ions in solution. Here we have the pH scale, which you will notice goes from 1 to 14. Something is said to be acidic if the pH number is lower, so below 7. Something that's acidic has a higher hydrogen ion concentration and a lower hydroxyl concentration. If something is basic, its pH is above 7. It has a higher number, it has a lower concentration of hydrogen ions, and a higher concentration of hydroxyl ions. If something is neutral, it's said to have a pH of 7 in the middle of the scale, and the hydrogen and hydroxyl ion concentrations are the same. Very few things have a pH of 7, primarily distilled water. Just a reminder that the body's pH will range, or must range, between 7.35 and 7.45, and that it's very important to keep the body's pH in that range. It's so important that there are three different mechanisms that the body has to maintain proper pH. One is buffers, two is the respiratory system, and three is the renal or the kidneys. Now, let's look at how we determine pH. Remember the little bouncy balls I used in lecture. We have hydrogen ion concentration, hydroxyl ion concentration. Remember our two rules. One, if one moves up, the other moves down. If this one goes up, then this one goes down. So they always move in the opposite direction. Second rule, they move up or down the same amount. So if this moves up a notch, this moves down a notch. Okay, so let's start at a pH of 7. pH of 7, you have an equal hydrogen concentration as compared to a hydroxyl ion concentration. But what's going to happen to the pH if this occurs? If the hydrogen ion concentration moves up a notch, then we know the hydroxyl ion concentration moves down a notch. So the pH started at 7, but if we moved a notch, then what is the new pH? The new pH is 6. So as the pH goes down, the hydrogen ion concentration goes up, hydroxyl ion concentration goes down. Let's move another notch. Hydroxyl goes down a notch, hydrogen goes up another notch. What has happened to our pH? It has gone from a pH of 6 to a pH of 5. Again, hydrogen ion concentration went up, hydroxyl went farther down, the pH gets lower. Now instead of going 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's just go to the extremes. Hydrogen ion concentration goes to its highest concentration, hydroxyl concentration goes to its lowest. What is our pH? Our pH is 1. So at a pH of 1, you have the highest hydrogen ion concentration and the lowest hydroxyl concentration. Okay, now we're going to look at pH going in the opposite direction. Again, same rules apply. One moves up, the other moves down. They move up or down the same amount. We're going to start at a pH of 7. Hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion concentration is the same. This time, we're going to move hydrogen ion concentration down a notch and hydroxyl concentration up a notch. What does that do to our pH? It moves our pH to 8. So as it becomes more basic, the pH goes up. Notice when the pH went up, the hydrogen concentration went down, hydroxyl concentration went up. Again, let's move another notch. If we move another notch, what happens to our pH? It goes from 8 to 9. Again, instead of going all the way up the scale, let's go to the extremes. We move our hydrogen ion concentration to its lowest and hydro hydroxyl concentration to its highest, and that gives us a pH of 14. So at a pH of 14, very basic, our hydrogen concentration is the lowest, hydroxyl concentration is the highest. If you want to review this, remember there's a podcast that does the same thing, and there is also a podcast 
that does it does a quiz for you so you can see if you understand these concepts you can test yourself on whether you understand the relationship between hydrogen and hydroxyl concentration and its pH value